Hello again. Um, <clears throat> today we're going to tie this pearly daddy long legs fly. Um, it's quite fun to tie this fly. I quite like tying this. Um, there's a few little tricky techniques trying to get the legs on and and the, trying to get the wings set how you want them. Um, but um, you know, with patience, you get there. The legs are just uh, knotted pheasant tail fibres. They're knotted. Each fibre's knotted a couple of times. Um, and it, it, it gives a great impression of a leg, actually, on a daddy long legs. This is just one I've bought pre-knotted, but you can um, you can sit there and do it yourself. It is doable, a bit fiddly, but uh, wings are just uh, grizzle hackle tips and a bit of seals fur dubbing and a, and a, and a brown. This is just a, an Indian cock cape just for the hackle there. Right, let's take this one out of the vise. And in the vise, I'm going to put a size 10 curve shank style hook. And on the hook, on the shank, I've put a 3.5 millimeter tungsten bead. Now, we uh, we start by putting a, a bit of varnish on the back of the shank, just a teensy weensy bit. Just hold the floss because it's going to have a little hot spot on the back of it. Um, so you can see that, see that in there, there's a little hot spot, whoops it daisy, it's alive, um, little hot spot, and this is just glow bright number 12, which is like a green, so we just start maybe a bead length back from the actual bead where it's set up against the eye, and I'm going to bring this floss down over that little bit of varnish, just to help it hold and we're going to bring it down to a little ways around the bend and then I'm going to come back up nice tight touching turns and then I'm going to come back down and then back up again and I'm just going to whip finish that off tighten it up trim and I'm going to come over it with a bit of varnish not much just a little bit I'm going to put it on there and then I'm going to get my needle and I'm going to move it around to get it where I want it and have a look at that There you go, I'm happy with that. And now I'm gonna come in with a uni thread and this is dark brown and it's in 6.0. I'm just gonna run the thread through the wax. Give me lots of grip. That's why we put the wax on for grip. Start behind the bead, just sort of do a few turns right behind it to try and lock it in a bit. And then come down Come down to about uh, just before where the barb starts. And I'm going to tie in a silver wire. Just going to make sure I've got plenty of wax on the thread there. I'm going to tie in a silver wire. I'm tying it in on my side. I'm going to take the thread up to the bead. Oops. You see I've got a little bit of a step there. So I'm just going to come back with the thread and just get rid of that step because now I'm going to come in with a uni mylar. This is opal mirage tinsel and this is in large. You could use medium of course but I'm going to coat this shank so <laughs> the large size just helps me to do that quicker. We come down all the way to the green uh, floss. Take my thread back up and then with a nice straight turn at the back, mind your wire out of the way, we're just going to come round with the tinsel and coat the shank. And we're going to catch that off. I normally come round two or three times 
but pulled it back out of the way catch it come in with your scissors and with this mylar I normally just nick it and tear it I find it breaks off um, a little bit easier that way or it gives you a neater it gives you a neater cut so I'm just gonna wax the thread and make sure that that's tied in nicely and I'm gonna come down to about oh, half a half a bead length maybe you know half the length of that bead we're gonna come around with the wire give a nice straight turn at the back and then I'm just gonna come over the Mirage tinsel with the wire and this just protects the wire really it does give you some segmentation as well but it's there just to protect the wire come over with the thread two or three times it nice and tight fold it back and then wiggle 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 and it will break off again it's a neater cut never cut wire with your scissors I've got myself some new scissors and there's no way you'd be cutting wire with those you can just twist it and twist it and twist it and it'll come off now for the legs um, I'm gonna take six legs because they have six legs right and I know fish can't count but if we're gonna do it you know and you know how many legs the insect has got I don't see why you wouldn't put that amount on we're going to pull the fibers 90 degrees from the stem exactly the same as we do when we're pulling off normal pheasant tail fibers and that lines the tips up we're going to pull it from the hide now I used to tie these in individually or uh, sorry with like I used to tie three on one side and then tie three on the other but I found a, a neater and quicker way to do it. I'm going to take off the bits of hide or bits of skin that where you've torn it from the feather. And I'm going to take a measure of about, I'm going to take a measure, have I got a broken one there? Do, do, do. Yeah. So there was a couple of broken fibers in there that I noticed. So we're going to take some more legs and always look, if you've got a broken fiber, you just, just discard it and, um, and start again so I'm gonna take six off there's one two three do -de do -de do take six off again pulling 90 degrees from the stem I'm going through that whole process once more chopping off the skinny bits you know the skin bits and have a look now I want the legs to be about two times out the back two times the length of the sort of body out the back which there is fine so i'm going to transfer grip to my left hand and i'm going to come over and i'm going to catch them right on the top i'm going to make sure i've got wax on my thread and i'm going to hold them right on the top and i'm just going to tie them in i'm going to come in trim the waist pieces off just like that and then come back when we meet the legs again, we're going to part the legs. Six on one side, six on the other. And sometimes it's easier to do this with a needle. So, there's six, or uh, there's three on one side, sorry, three on the other. And now I'm going to pull the three that are furthest away from me to the front. I'm going to slip my thread behind. And then I'm going to pull the legs closest to me and I'm going to slip the thread, whoops a daisy, behind. Okay? Now what that does is part those legs, just like that. And now I'm going to hold the legs back a bit with my left arm, a uh, left hand, and I'm going to do a couple of wraps over. And that's put the legs, it's spread them all out so they're all higgledy-piggledy and it's angled them towards the back. Now that's the easiest way I've found of doing these legs. Now, I'm gonna come in with a bit of seals fur. This is just natural seals fur in brown. And I'm gonna put some on the thread. Not much at all. Um, this is here just to color the thread, really hide thread wraps. So I'm gonna come, I'm gonna tighten that up. I do a turn around and then really tighten it up 
and then I move all the legs out of the way and I slip a bit of dubbing behind just like that and then I come over again like that again it's not much dubbing you almost uh, you're gonna come back tighten that up a bit it's almost like you're um like it's not worth doing but trust me it does make for a better fly there we go any little bits that you don't like always go back and that's just put a tiny little bit of dubbing there sweep everything back a couple of turns and we've got lovely higgledy piggledy legs that are going everywhere just like a drowned daddy would be <clears throat> now I'm going to come in with some hackle tips. So I'm going to find, this is just a, um, it's a bugger pack actually from Whiting. And I'm going to take two feathers. It's going to take two short ones that I wouldn't necessarily use on a pike fly or anything. Pull them from the hide. And now I want to measure how long I want my wing. And I like my wings to be about the length of the hook. So I'm just going to pinch where I think and sweep all the fibres back like that. Just part in them. And then measure again. Let's have a little look. When I'm happy, I just pull them away. Pull all these fibres, anything below going away. Uh, anything going below I just pull them away and then trim and then I'll take the other feather and I'll do exactly the same and I measure the other one on my desk because I measure it um, exactly the same as the other one so unfortunately I can't think of a way of doing this where you can actually see what I'm doing but I've just got the first one I did on my desk and I'm just literally copying it, pulling them back again and I'm copying the size. And when I think I've got it, do exactly the same, pull everything away and then trim. And that's what you're left with, right? So, I'm gonna pop the feather, make sure we got wax on the thread. I'm gonna pop the feather on top 45 degree angle to the hook and I'm going to come over a couple of times now I think that's a little bit long so I'm just going to pull it in a bit I like them to be a little bit shorter than the legs let's just shorten that up a little bit adjust always adjust if you if you think you need to adjust always always adjust and we do exactly the same again we're just going to pop it on the top Come over with a couple of turns, have a look. Now I'm happy with that. And then do a few turns to lock. Come in with the other feather. And it's just a case of matching it up, doing exactly the same thing. There's a few fibers down here that I don't necessarily like, so we're just going to get rid of them. But there's the wings, and I'm happy with that. So we're going to tighten that up. Oh, that one's just rolled on me as I tightened there. So if they roll on you, or if they go into a position that you just don't like, then always, always, always adjust. Okay? Have a little look. I want that just to be on the top. So, just take your time. Always take your time. Come around. This is where I imagine fly tying can get a little bit frustrating. Just when you're struggling doing things like this. But as I've said before, always take your time and always just, you'll get it done eventually. Just take your time. We're going to trim that. Now I'm happy. And I've got a few fibres on these wings. I don't like. There we go. And there's your wings. Okay. Now I'm going to come in with a bit of wax on the thread. 
and have a have a good tidy up, right? Nice wax thread. There we go. Now we're going to put my hackle on. And this is just again brown Indian cockade. I've chosen a feather of appropriate size. And now I'm going to tie it on. And I want the concave. If you look at the feather, they always have a convex and a concave side. Uh, the convex side is always the good side, we'd call the feather the outside. And the concave side is always the inside of the feather. Now I want the inside of the feather facing the hook, right? And I just want to orient it so it lays how I want. Sometimes if you can squish the stem in your nail, it will help, okay? So we come along, grab the feather on, tie it in nice and tight. Come in with your scissors, oop, de daisy. Grab hold of it. Come in with some hackle pliers, grab the hackle. I'd normally do it on my fingers, but it's going to be easier for you to see if I use the pliers. And now come round about four, maybe even five turns. It's one, two, three, four. Four's plenty. Have a look. I'm happy. Come in, cross the thread, catch it, hold the feather back, and then just pull the pull the tip of the feather out. Sweep everything back. Come in with a couple of turns. Just have a look where you are. Happy. And now I'm going to come in with a little bit more of the brown seals fur. Again, just to hide my thread wraps. Now, slide it up. Come in. Try not to catch any hackle fibers. I'm tightening this dubbing up. There we go. When you've got enough, take the rest away. And there we go. And then I'm going to slip the thread in between the dubbing and the bead. Just like that. Just having a look at my fly. Put a little bit of varnish on the thread. It really is the easiest way to varnish. Um, flies and threads. Sweep everything back. Come in with your whip finish tool. One, two, three, four's plenty. Tighten the thread up. It's nice and tight. Come in with your scissors. Remove the thread. And there he is. That is a little pearly daddy. Really good little fly this really gets their attention um anyway i hope you enjoyed watching that one as much as i enjoyed tying it i do like tying these i did say at the beginning it can be a little bit frustrating getting the wing set but you get there in the end please like it if you did enjoy the uh video and please um subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next one thank you